Alright guys, today we're going to be creating a full conversion mod for Amnesia and uh, or rather should I say we're converting a custom story to a full conversion mod because uh, you should already know how to create a custom story uh, and if you don't I have plenty of videos on that if you need to know uh, but you should already have the custom story so that you have some files to go on because uh, there's going to be a lot of file uh, movement and uh, a few other things uh, involved in this so uh, you're going to take your custom story basically and you're gonna split it out into different folders and run it through Amnesia to when you start it up so that uh, it's not exactly loaded in the game it's already loaded when the game is starting up so uh, it's somewhat different it's more in-depth than a custom story uh, hence full conversion mod so uh, it basically over takes over uh, am Amnesia and uh, just runs your own custom files with it. So uh, anyways let's get started here and uh, I'm going to open up the Amnesia root folder. Uh, this is by the way done on a Mac computer but it should be the exact same on any other operating system if you are using anything else. So you should should still be able to figure out what to do here. Uh, anyways here I have uh, the Amnesia root folder and if you're worried if you don't know exactly where this folder is you should be able to find it um, uh, well, basically, it if you have it installed on Steam, which I do, it should be in your Steam folder. Um, and uh, hopefully you know how to navigate to those. If you don't, I'll have a little path for Mac uh, in the description. Uh, for Windows, uh, you can still even go on Steam and uh, locate the file. If you go on Properties, and uh, there should be a uh, Browse Local Files. If you click on that, it should open the folder no matter what operating system you're on so that way should be good if you have steam otherwise if you're on retail I should I think it is in slash applications slash amnesia dot app and to open a dot app you would right click it and show package contents uh, on retail windows I'm not exactly sure but um, pardon me but anyways let's carry on hopefully you know what this is just navigating to the folder so it shouldn't be a problem really uh, anyways so here we have the folder. These are all the editors, which you might not have, but if you're making a full conversion mod, you probably do. Then there are all these folders right here that are the main, the default files for Amnesia, and at the bottom are just some extra, extra stuff. So, first of all, I'm going to open a custom story. I have this one that I've been using for tutorials so far. I'm going to start it, uh, or I'm going to open it, and this is the main Amnesia custom story folder right here which has the settings, PNG, and the um, extra English, and a few other folders, depending on what you have in it. So, uh, basically what you need to do here is, um, you can, actually let me, tr let me just duplicate it, so that I can take this one apart and still keep the old one. Uh, so let's just rename it to mod. Alright, so we have this, this one, we're going to convert this one to a mod. First of all, you can take these two files and delete them because we're not going to be using them anymore. So first of all, I'm just going to delete that. And this one, uh, there's not really anything in here that you need to keep. Although you could, of course, uh, keep uh, some of these things to because it's basically going to be moved to another file, but we're not going to keep this file, so you might as well delete it. Now the extra English is going to be moved and the folders are going to be moved. Uh, first of all, let's take this folder and just move it on the desktop so I have it <laughs> available while I go back here. So, let's start by... Um, actually, I have a uh, template here which has files that you're probably going to be wanting for your mod. I have two starter files, one for Windows and one for Mac. And then I have a readme file which you can fill out yourself and a lot of folders. They're all empty, but you can fill in your files there if you wish. Now, uh, this can be downloaded in my description if you want to start off with this template and just edit it to your liking. Uh, but anyways, basically what a full conversion mod is, is that you load the files from different, different folders on startup, as I said, and uh, therefore it's, uh, you're gonna, most full conversion mods, they merge these folders with each other. So if you have custom entities, you would put the mods custom entities in the entities folder. However, I have experimented myself and <laughs> I found a more 
uh, I'm not exactly not necessarily easier but I think it is easier uh, but more compact and simpler uh, way of doing this where you don't need to merge any files at all and uh, basically you just you could of course you can duplicate the entities folder for example if you have custom entities and rename it to your own entities folder for example mod underscore entities although that's a bit generic so probably the name of your mod underscore entities or something like that and then you can have your entities in there and uh, if you do that it should be able to load if you set it up correctly <laughs> okay so but let's try doing some more practical work here uh, actually getting things done so first of all uh, the config folder is very important so this is the main folder that you run to start up your mod and uh, therefore you might want to duplicate this uh, actually I have it over there but anyways let's not use the <laughs> template so that I can show you how to do it if you don't want to download it uh, first of all we want to duplicate the config folder and rename it to whatever else you want so I'm going to name it mod underscore config like that. I'm going to give it a tag so it's easier to just uh, if I scroll around I find it easier. Mod underscore config. You can name it whatever you want but I like to keep it at least config so I know which folder it is and this is now the exact same as the other one and inside here are a lot of other files that you can uh, take but alright so first of all we have base English dot lang French, German, Italian, Russian and Spanish and uh, if you're not good with languages, you can choose either one or uh, use any other language. It doesn't really matter. You can just use uh, any language, if you, not even any of these, but you can just do base underscore uh, any other language that isn't here. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to be using English. So I'm going to delete the other ones. So I'm just going to have base English dot lang. And that is going to be the language file. So this mod that I'm making is currently only going to be available in the English language. Uh, but if you are able to convert it to other languages, you can choose that and then they will be able to set that in the settings. So you can keep that extra English is probably, uh, or the base English is probably the most important language file of, <laughs> since English is more world language, excuse me. Um, but yeah, you can he have any other languages if you wish. And then default main settings, this one is important, this is the default settings for the whole mod. User keys. The, this file you might as well delete because uh, people usually, if they edit files, uh, you, they should be able to use their current files for that. So it's not like if you change your lantern key to like L, uh, you wouldn't have to do that in this mod either. You still have the default files for that. Same thing with user settings. You can delete that. And uh, then we have game. This one is important. This is the main game settings, so we want to keep that. And lang main lang ptest. Ptest is the uh, just the expansion, so you can delete that. Anything with ptest basically you can delete because that's just a duplicate of the other files for uh, the expansion. So basically, the Justine expansion is a full conversion mod, an official one, so uh, which is already merged in here. So anyway, so this these are the files that you want to keep. There's actually one more that you want in here. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go fetch that. It's not located in this file folder, but you want to locate it in this folder anyways. It's called resources.cfg and you want to copy this file there and you want to put it in your mod config. And this is going to, this is an important file that is going to allow you to use and folders that are not named the default ones. So instead of putting these files inside of your uh, default config folder up here, instead of merging them all in here so it will be very messy with a lot of files in here instead of you doing that you can use the resource file to use your own folder in there so you can just ignore this one or you can use both preferably both that bo <laughs> both actually so uh, so you can use your custom settings and the main settings and everything <laughs> excuse me if I'm explaining this kinda weird but hopefully you're uh, following along all right, so we have mod config and lang underscore main. This one you also want to rename to something else. So I'm going to rename it mod underscore lang underscore main. And inside here we have the same languages. I'm just going to delete the other ones except for English because that's the one I'm going to be using. And this is English dot lang. And uh, this used to be in a in a custom story called extra English dot lang because it would be adding to the default extra 
or the <laughs> default english.lang but since this is a mod it doesn't add it it uses it instead so you want to take the one that you have in your custom story folder and rename it from extra english.lang to just english.lang like that and then you want to replace it with the other one over here so this is all the text that is going to be appear in your game so instead of being the extra english.lang it's just the english.lang located in your config folder so just keep track of where that is and you should be able to use it uh, of course there are a lot of these uh, pretty much need to edit all of these uh, other files config files to make the custom story actual or the custom story mod uh, actually load up properly with the new files but we're going to first place the files in there so um, let's say we have these files here uh, most importantly maps you don't need any of these other ones you, you can make a full conversion mod with only custom maps if you wish and uh, that would be this one so uh, then we're also going to back in the default files basically what you can do you can just duplicate all of these files folders and make your own uh, own folders for them so uh, mod underscore any of these main menu most importantly well not most but quite important main menu and maps so uh, let's just do that first of all you can duplicate the main menu folder and rename it to uh, match your uh, other system or organization or yeah so I'm gonna tag that mod underscore main menu this is going to be the menu that is loaded or the level that is loaded on your main menu if you open it you can delete ptest as it is the exp expansion and main you can keep that if you like and just keep these in here or you can just move them directly out to the previous folder but you might as well just keep them in here and menu underscore bg and menu bg cache this one you might not have it's just if you're loading it with a uh, level editor with a cache enabled but anyways so menu background dot map you can rename it to any map that you want so I'm just gonna call it mod menu and then you can load it up with the level editor to edit that map yourself so I'm gonna do that a little later after I set up all the files so you can go back now we have the level map that you start the menu on now let's um, go yeah the maps folder okay so I'm gonna duplicate the maps folder as well actually I'm gonna cancel that let's just make a new folder because the default one has a lot of oh I can't name it maps I'm gonna name it mod underscore maps of course okay mod underscore maps uh, the default one has a lot of maps in it so you don't need to copy them actually you can just move your old maps folder over to this one because this one has uh, main chapters and all these things set into chapters but you don't need to do that if you don't want to but of course you can modern school maps so if you go to your maps folder in your custom story that you used to have uh, these would be all the maps and HPS files script and map files so uh, actually mine has a lot of cache files too uh, but anyways, it has an inventory HPS file, which you might see in the default maps folder as well. You can move this one over here if you want, and then you can make a new folder and just name it whatever. Uh, well, let's call it chapter chapter one. I believe it's the other one is called CH01. Was it like that? <laughs> I just like keeping it in the same system. Okay, lowercase CH01. CH01. Fuck. Excuse me. <clears throat> <laughs> Alright, so we have chapter one. Uh, you don't need to do this, you can just put it in any name it anything and just put your maps. So I'm just gonna take this map and this script file, put it in there. And there we will have the map that you load. Let's say let's just rename these files as well to just uh, start.hps and start start.map. So this is going to be the map that you start when you click start new game or continue well continue depends on where you are so uh, but when you click start new game in the main menu it's going to load up this map so you can have all the other maps that you want in here and uh, they will it'll work the exact same way as a custom story 
with the maps and between them so uh, you can just put all the maps in there I'm just going to use two though for the example but of course now these are the other files that I have in my custom full conversion mod but we don't necessarily need them uh, you don't actually for the um, the inventory HPS you don't need that either uh, you can't this is only for inventory functions so if you don't have this file don't worry you don't need it but of course if you want it you can you can have it there but <laughs> if you don't have it then don't worry it's not essential in any way so okay so we so far we have three folders and these are the most important folders um, if I close this custom story folder and go to my template that I created uh, this one as you can see it has modern score config and mod main menu and maps these three files that we have created ourselves right now and then it has entities fonts graphics slang music sound static objects and textures and these all all these you don't need but you can create them if you want to so if you want to use custom entities you want to create your own mod underscore entities folder and place your entities in there but that is not necessary and uh, this tutorial is not exactly on making entities so um, if you know if you already have some custom entities you can put them in there uh, if you don't then you can just ignore creating the folder at all so next up let's see um, actually since these are the three only required folders that you need you don't really need any other folders and these files uh, they're just default you don't need to place any merging files in here except for your launchers maybe if you have a bat file for Windows or a command file for Mac uh, you can uh, create them and place them in there if you wish if you're using Steam you don't need them but for retail ones you want to use those instead so of course best to have the option to but anyways let's create that a little later and uh, now since we, actually let me open the level editor and edit the main menu map that we're going to be using uh, I'm going to hit open and uh, okay actually this happens a few times um, it's apparently a bug in the uh, system because if I were to it since the last path that I used is no longer existent it goes to the very first path of the system and can't really navigate away from here so I gotta do some stuff so I'll be right back alright so we just want to open the file now now we're in the default uh, directory again so just navigate to your mod folder mod main menu I'm gonna open up the mod menu map take a little while to load but here we are this is the very default level that is shown in the menu when you start the game as you can see so I'm just gonna turn on the grid and everything and uh, here we have the map as you can see well yeah so just do whatever you want to this map you want to edit it to whatever you like and uh, just make sure that this spawn point is still there you don't need to touch it you, you can rotate it and everything but uh, just make sure it still has the same name and it, it's the same kind of file and stuff so this will be the camera uh, that is where you're looking when you're starting the game basically from here it'll be looking in the other direction of the blue arrow so the blue will be pointing away from it as you can see and then you will be looking this way so this is the main map as you can see this is how it looks in the uh, if you start up the game normally no anyway so you want to do whatever you want to this map I'm just gonna simply create place a monster right here so enemy grunt I'm just gonna place a grunt right here like that so we'll have the grunt right there just to symbolize that this map is different from the default one so I'm just gonna have the grunt right there and then I'm gonna save the file and close the editor because we don't need to do anything more uh, of course you want to make your own map make your startup level impressive or just sim symbolic or something something cool anyways that is up to you so uh, now that we have that map edited right there that'll be the uh, that's all we need to edit in there as for your custom maps that is totally up to you yourself what to do and then we go to the config folder now we gotta edit all of these files and this is gonna take a while so um, just bear with me here uh, first of all let's start with a resource file so you wanna open that with any text editor if you uh, you can use notepad or text edit for Mac or Windows uh, anyways this is how it looks like resources directory path and then it has uh, all these slash fonts slash maps slash textures uh, it actually has a few repeating ones I'm not sure why models is repeated like that 
and uh, but anyways what you want to do to this file you actually you might not have this uh, custom stories uh, folder of path but you should uh, in the default one just add that it's it's useful but it's not always there but anyways what you want to do to this file is to add your the path to your custom folders so just tab down and uh, I'm just gonna copy this one and paste it down here and directory path is going to be uh, it starts off in the main directory so you just want to type slash and the name of the folder so slash mod underscore config and you want to add the sub their directories to true you want to keep that to true and uh, when you have that this is basically going to add mod config as one of the systems folders that it's going to load files from so uh, this is how it finds all of the files so you want to copy that as well and paste it under for all your other folders so mod config is also going to be mod main menu and mod underscore maps so just be sure to uh, edit all of the folders that you're going to have if you have custom entities you want to add another one for mod underscore entities so that you have that as well and uh, then you should be able to load any file from there while the game is running or when it's starting up at least so uh, you want to save the resource file and just close it and that's all we need to do with that file uh, pre-menu uh, let's uh, let's wait a little bit with that let's go to the more essential ones uh, base English this one you don't exactly need to edit this uh, is more for technical stuff uh, what the different tags say so for example start game is going to be start new game and stuff like that load game is load game uh, so basically you don't really need to edit anything in here this is more of the default text strings that are appearing in the game but if you uh, if you have, for example, a flashlight instead of a lantern, you want to go in this file and edit the text that says lantern and make it into uh, uh, flashlight. I'm not sure if this is actually in this file. It might be in the other english.lang in your other folder, uh, but it might be in here as well. I'm not exactly sure. But you can, of course, look through this and edit anything that you like, but for the most part, you don't really need to edit anything. Uh, but yeah. But let's go with default main settings and game. These uh, main init is actually also very important. But let's go to default main settings. Uh, actually, um, I don't think you needed this file either. I'm not sure. And uh, I don't think you need this one. Uh, because this is more, f you should rather use the one you've been using the whole time for this file. But um, uh, yes, as I suspected, this is another file you don't need to mess with. You can just delete it from your files, so just get rid of it. I, I kind of forgot about that earlier, but uh, that is a file that is also located in your default config folder, and you'd rather use that one instead of a different one so that the settings are saved over different mods and main game. So anyways, just delete that file. You don't need it. Now, more importantly, let's start with the main init file because this is the most important one when it comes to starting up your custom story or your full conversion mod. So let's open up this one and take a look at it. Actually, let's just open it up here. So first of all, we have resources, the name of the resource file. Uh, you want to keep that the same unless you edit the name of resources config. You can use another one. Uh, you can rename it and uh, best be sure to rename this one as well. Materials, this one, uh, you can just leave it materials.cfg and it'll use the default materials file. Uh, anyways, so uh, game, config game, uh, you want to edit all of these files because this is going to be the main game config file. And since you're going to make your own, you want to uh, use that one instead. So since the path is no longer config slash game, it's mod underscore config slash game and then it will be using this game file instead. So you want to do that. And also up on the resources you want to type mod underscore config slash resources so it be sure to use this file and not the the one that is located in the main directory. And uh, then we will be using that and make sure to do that with all this these files. So menu mod underscore config pre-menu mod underscore config slash pre-menu and the demo, uh, you, the demo you can just leave, uh, yeah, we don't need that. Default main settings, uh, this one you don't want to edit to mod underscore config because you want to use the main one that is in located, that is located in slash config. So uh, config, default main settings, this was the file that I forgot to delete, 
uh, you just want to keep that the default one so uh, yeah and uh, and by the way you can only use the mod underscore config folder if you added it to the resources file and uh, these files you just want to keep them the same default don't want to mess with them and default user settings and keys don't mess with them just keep them default so that they're not reset when you launch this mod and stuff and default base language and default game language uh, these ones uh, yeah you can just keep them as them as they are I believe I don't know if you need to I don't remember if you need to add the folder to this one but I don't think you do I think you can just keep it base English lang and uh, english.lang but I guess to be sure we can just add mod underscore uh, lang underscore main uh, slash english.lang so it'll be using the english.lang that you have here in your own folder uh, alright we'll, we'll see if anything goes wrong you can just go back to this file and edit it so but I think this should work um, main saves folder this one is kind of important uh, don't keep it main. You want to edit it to anything else. So name it the name of your mod. This is um, this is not in the Amnesia directory. It's somewhere else on your hard drive, uh, probably in program files or something like that on Windows. And on Mac, it's in application support slash frictional games. Um, yeah. So inside this folder, you want to just name it whatever. I'm just going to name it mod for now. But this is going to be a folder that's going to be created on your hard drive and it's going to contain all the saves and info about your game that is be being used and ran and everything like that so um, just don't keep it main or else it'll merge with the main folders but keep it something else and uh, base language folder uh, of course mod underscore config and game language folder uh, uh, mod underscore config slash lang main and this one is also mod underscore lang main which is this file so actually I think this path is not going to be there this is just going to be calculated from this path and therefore it's going to be mod config mod lang main con english so it's not duplicated folder all right so you can just keep that keep, keep these as default and uh, edit these paths custom story path don't mess with that you can just and if you do you will have to place custom stories elsewhere but uh, just leave it default and you can load custom stories from your own mod and game name this is the name of your uh, mod so I'm just gonna name it amnesia uh, let's, let's name it the modded mod yeah so amnesia the modded mod just name anything in here that you want the game to be called start map this is important again <laughs> most of this file is important uh, this is going to determine the uh, map that is started when you click new game so first of all the folder you want to name it mod underscore maps or whatever slash main uh, I don't think I had main so you can just remove that uh, yeah mod underscore maps actually did I have main no I did not have main so it's just chapter one you can do ch01 if you'd like there not sure where that is in the default one or how it's calculated but anyways you can just name it the path of your map files actually I'm going to exclude that player position this is uh, if you have many positions in your map you want to determine this this is this is also if you remember in your uh, custom story config uh, that these settings are in that as well and then you want to name uh, the name of your map mine is start.map so just put that in there folder and uh, this one don't need to mess with if you only have one start position in the map otherwise you might want to define it and you want to save this file and you can close it because that's everything we need to do in there so now we've edited that file and this is the file that is going to start up the game and load your mod instead of the default one now game config this one is a somewhat larger file and um, this one has more of the technical game settings uh, like whether uh, whether you're gonna drain sanity and other things like that and how fast certain effects are going to apply uh, so you can you can go through this one and edit it if you like uh, I'm not gonna go through much of it because you can mostly keep it the default if you want uh, it has quite a lot in it but for example you can edit how much fall damage you take 
uh, how fast you move by default and things like that so uh, but if you want to keep just default then you can just keep it default uh, otherwise in-game music and voice and other things like that the volume yeah edit if if you like there's probably a lot of things in there that you want to edit that you might <laughs> be amused by I don't know all right so edit it if you like now menu config this is going to determine how the menu looks and this one is rather important in a way too so you want to go in uh, actually let's start at the top um, these most of these things you can keep default but just uh, be sure to well you can mess around with it if you'd like to make your menu look quite different from the default one uh, it could be it could be interesting if you know how to do this so just experiment around um, but some things you need to edit so let's just go down here these are the location of the logos and the um, buttons and things like that the font if you have a font you can use that uh, positions and then there's background scene this is the map file so you want to name it the uh, name of your map so mine is mod underscore menu background was it um, or did I name it something else uh, main menu main mod underscore menu was it only okay mod underscore menu make sure that matches to the name of the map file and then there's the camera field of view. This is how much you see from your location, from your spawn point. You can edit if you like. Uh, zoom, this is how, fa uh, how far in it zooms. If you keep this larger than the other one, uh, when you click start new game or uh, continue, it will be zooming out instead of in. So that could be interesting if you want to do that. And uh, zoom sound. Oh. Excuse that sound if you can hear anything. Zoom sound, this is the um, whoosh sound that is um, when you zoom in. You can change that if you like, um, but you can keep it default. This is not necessary. And uh, then all of these, you can just keep default. You can edit them if you like and see what they do. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of numbers in here. I haven't really messed around with most of these settings myself, but they're pretty self explanatory what they do. Uh, Tinder boxes center. Uh, this is more for the uh, location in your inventory, for example. Uh, like the icon for your Tinder boxes is up in the top right by default. You can change that if you like. There's a lot of things you can change in here. And the default font, if you have a different font, you can name that. Quest icon, sound, and a lot of other things that you want to edit if you, well, that you can edit if you want. Game hints font many many things that can be interesting to do loading screens how big they are and stuff like that so anyways but I will only the things at the top are required <laughs> it's pretty much only that line that is required so you want to save that file close it now we have done that uh, there's only one thing left which is pre-menu which you don't need to edit either but uh, you might want to this one is not that big it just looks kind of big this is all there is in it, and uh, basically, um, I'm not sure exactly which skin file this is, so I haven't messed with that, but anyways, section image, uh, this is when you start up the game, you go through the, um, the Frictional Games logo, um, the uh, uh, the other the other logos, uh, Nord Nordic graphics or something, I forgot what it was, um, but yeah, so these are the names of the logos. So if you have your own logo, you can put your own logo, create a JPEG file, and put it in, uh, I believe it was in graphics. Uh, you can make your mod underscore graphics folder and add it to all the resource and everything. But anyways, you put the file in there, and then you can just define it in here. You can just replace one or add one. Uh, so for example, if you were to duplicate this uh, line and put it below it, you can, uh, uh, you can put your own JPEG name in here how long it's going to be displayed and if it's only going to be displayed the first time uh, you start up so uh, actually let me remove two of these so when we start up our mod it's only going to show the frictional games logo and that's how you know that it's the mod and that it works and stuff and then there's the section image uh, welcome jpeg these are only shown the first time you start this mod. If you know, remember, first time you start up Amnesia, it goes through these steps, uh, changing the gamma and uh, the settings. So, uh, 
for example, uh, it tells you what to do and how to play the game basically. And that is defined in here. And then there's colors and everything for fonts and everything else. You can you can go through this and edit if you like. You probably want to. Uh, this is located in your english.lang file. So uh, you want to go there and create this or just edit it to the text that's going to appear. You can cut them out if you don't want that many sections. But anyways, that is not exactly necessary, but you might want to. I'm going to close and uh, yeah, so it's probably, since I don't have any of that in my english.lang, it's just going to appear blank uh, when I start it up. But if you have it, then it's going to appear text. Uh, you'll see that later when we start it up. <sighs> right. We're done with the config folder, and when you're done with this, that is pr pretty much it for the mod. Because all the other files are just located in your folder, you don't really need to do anything with that. And uh, I believe that was it for how to create a mod, but of course, if you have more folders, just put more folders. Uh, you can have any other folders that are in here, uh, any of the main folders and uh, you can just name it name the folder something else you don't need to have uh, modern score maps or modern score config you can just name it something else but um, of course I like to keep it somewhat organized in the same style that the default files are so um, now otherwise you might want a launcher file and I have these included in my uh, download uh, for Windows and Mac and uh, you can download those and just place them in there. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to show you how you can create them uh, a little later towards the end, but that's not the most important part. That is only for the retail version of Ma uh, Amnesia. If you're using Steam like I am, you can go on Steam, you can right click Amnesia and click Properties. Click on Set Launch Options right here, and you want to type in the file that you want to launch the game with. So instead of using the, the main init.cfg, remember, uh, you want to use your uh, custom main init cfg. So you want to type the name of the folder mod underscore config slash slash main underscore init dot cfg. And uh, as long as you have this, the uh, name of your folder and the name of the file then you should be able to launch that file instead. So it'll basically overwrite the main file with this one, but only on runtime. It doesn't actually replace any files. It just chooses to use this one instead of the default one. So, uh, and that is how it works. So you want to click OK, close, and let's see if everything is working. We have the same launcher, but it's not going to start the same game. But uh, as if you remember, if you have edited any of these settings, they might be uh, reset now. Actually, uh, I believe there was a file that changed that. I'm not sure. Uh, but you might want to go on graphic options and set that back to um, <laughs> set that back to uh, to uh, the settings that you want to use. So I'm just going to go on high graphics again, uh, sound, blah, blah blah. So yeah, and launch the game. And this is how it's going to look. And it crashed. Alright, so I found the source of the crash, and uh, it's uh, a thing that I forgot to mention when it comes to the extra or the new English.lang, uh, which is located in mod config, mod lang main, or whatever you name the folders. And uh, I guess I'll show you later where you can locate the log file for the error so you can check uh, whether or not the error is there and if you crash you'll be able to diagnose it a little bit easier I'll show you that in a little bit <laughs> in a little bit so uh, anyways let's go back to this ex this english.lang <laughs> I keep saying extra english uh, there is something at the top that is required to be here that I forgot to add and uh, it's uh, it's a thing that I'm gonna paste in here and it's resources directory path equals and then it will be the uh, the path of your uh, font and uh, you can just have it lang ing and fonts ing if you use the default uh, fonts and languages but um, otherwise if you have your own lang and font folder you'll be using those so for example mod underscore fonts uh, you'll be using those uh, or you could use mod underscore lang or you could just use the default ones if you don't have any custom fonts 
so uh, you just these are required to be in this file for it to find out where the fonts are gonna be uh, yeah so other than that uh, another thing uh, you might want to have the uh, pre-menu text because if you uh, if you notice here in the pre-menu config right here uh, it says uh, the uh, text category and text entry right here and these uh, you should probably put them in your uh, uh, lang files so that uh, <laughs> Uh, that doesn't become a problem. So you'll be have you'll have to create a category with the name of pre-menu, uh, with the text entries welcome message oh one two three four five and six. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Uh, let's just see here. Uh, diamond brackets uh, category name equals quote quote pre-menu closing bracket and opening and, open and close again with slash uh, well actually yeah this is under it so, so open and close and slash category which will close the category again which is required if you're gonna open one and inside there you do a diamond bracket entry name equals quote quote welcome message or one you can uh, you can of course change this uh, if you change this in the pre-menu config uh, and then uh, whatever you have in the slash entry and uh, <laughs> entry there we go so whatever you have in between these two tags is the message that's gonna appear so I'm just gonna type welcome one and then I'm gonna duplicate it six five times like that so we'll have welcome message oh two three four five and six um, <laughs> all right damn it <sighs> I'm messing up a lot two three four come on five and six all right so now that should be set for that and uh, I believe that is it just remember you need to have the resources at the top or else it'll not work uh, so let's try running it this time. Don't reopen. So far so good. Frictional games. Remember, uh, we only had one to appear at the beginning and then this comes up. Welcome one. And it has the music and everything. Continue. Welcome two, three, four. Then it has the gamma slider that you can turn up and down. It doesn't actually show in the video though, but... And um, yeah. And then it will be loading the menu. Create and select. And as you can see, there is the uh, grunt there. Let me turn down the volume. It's awkward, awfully loud. All right. So um, yeah. So as you can see, there's the grunt, which means uh, it is the modified menu. Uh, you can also change. Uh, have your custom image right here, PNG logo, and you can, uh, if using the menu CFG file you can edit the location of both of these the buttons and the the, uh, the amnesia logo so uh, for example you can have the logo up here and the buttons down here as I have in my own mod but uh, yeah so uh, that is basically it and if you type uh, go and start new game right now it should load up the um, the map that is in uh, this is the map I used in another tutorial and uh, this should work for uh, well yeah so now it loaded up your custom map still has the name tags for these as it had in the extra English. Uh, this is for a previous tutorial. I wonder if this still works. It still works, yeah. So I, I can still combine it. That's part of uh, my previous video, which was on combination. So, um, uh, but as as you can see, the map and script file is working perfectly fine, even though I uh, changed it to a full conversion mod, but. Uh, yeah, so uh, actually the V-Sync is vertical sync. That makes everything so much better. You have no idea how important that is to me. Anyways, so uh, yeah, um, that should be it for the full conversion mod on how to get it working. And uh, let me just save and exit. And now the continue button is up there as well. So if you click continue, we'll be respawning there as you are. And close it and uh, that beginning message only appears the first time and uh, now we can close that and let me just close that too 
so um, let's go back and uh, these again these are the only required files folders for your full conversion mod uh, there's nothing else that you really need although uh, if you're going to release it it's probably a good idea to have to include a launcher a batch file for windows and a command file for mac uh, i'm not sure what linux uses i'm sorry about that I, i'll have the, uh, the mac and windows included in the download but I'm not sure about Linux, uh, I haven't really worked much with it, so actually I haven't worked with it at all, but I'm going to soon. But anyways, um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it for that. So now let's go and look at the saves folder that is generated when you run this mod for the first time, if the config is set up properly, that is. So if you go, I'm not exactly sure where this folder is on Windows, uh, but I believe it's in program files, but don't take my word for it. Uh, but anyways, on a Mac, it's located in application support uh, under library. So if you if you need to get to the library folder and it's hidden, you go type go to folder and do a uh, a uh, just a squiggly line and slash library. Um, but anyways, there should be a frictional games folder in application support. Uh, I'm not sure if it's named the same on Windows. It might be, or it's named just Amnesia. Uh, inside here there should be Amnesia and HPL2. The HPL2 is the engine which uh, if you crash with the en ed editors the crash log will be in there uh, but otherwise go into the Amnesia which is a game folder and here will be the save files for all of your mods. So the main is the main game, uh, search is my own mod and White Knight is one I uh, used for an, uh, an earlier tutorial and then the mod is the one we used this time. So the mod folder would be generated in here which contains your save files and autosaves and everything else. If you open that up, first start flag. This is just a simple file that says that uh, your game has started up for the first time. So if you delete this file, it'll when you start up the game next time with this mod, it will include the uh, the six startup messages and the gamma. Uh, so, uh, But that is only the first time and then this file will be generated again. Uh, so uh, it's just there to prevent it from happening several times. Uh, and then the HPL log. Uh, this one is where it says the crash, if it crashes. And at the bottom, actually, uh, it's uh, regenerated every time. Um, every time there is, uh, every time you start it up. So if I had a crash earlier, it doesn't show anymore because it's regenerated. But at the bottom, it would say if it crashes or why it crashes. So if I were to go back to the Amnesia folder, let's say. Um, uh, let's say we move this main menu folder so we won't be able to find it and then we start it up again. It will most likely crash uh, after the menu right here. Actually, no, it didn't. It doesn't necessarily crash, but I think it'll still generate an error because that, that's what happens when the menu is not found. It makes a glitchy mouse thingy. So let's put that folder back in. But I still think it generates an error because it couldn't find it. Um, maybe. Uh, error. Well, it says here, error. World mod menu map doesn't exist. Uh, setting profile, blah blah. blah. So uh, it it says an error you couldn't find. But mostly, if you crash the game, it'll be located at the bottom. Uh, yeah. So um, other than that, main settings CFG. This is for the player. If you're gonna set up a development environment, and then there's the profile with uh, all the auto saves. And yeah. So if you save your game, the saves will be located in here and stuff like that. So that's just where that file is located. And uh, lastly, I guess it's just to create the um, the shortcuts. So if you open up TextEdit on Mac, you can use Notepad on Windows. Uh, just be sure to make it save as a .bat and not a .bat.txt. So uh, on uh, Mac, you want to convert it to plain text and then you want to type something in here. I don't actually remember it. I just have it on this download. Uh, if I open this one with text edit, it'll be looking like this. It's like a hashtag uh, exclamation mark slash bin slash bash CD quote and then one of these. I don't know why that is there, but it works. <laughs> Dear name uh, quote dollar zero quote. Anyways, all of this, I'll have it in the description or you can just download it if you like, but um, all of this should be, um, you should type it in. This will basically just mean that it'll navigate to the current 
folder uh, that this file is located in. So it'll get the location of this file and then it will navigate to it. And then it will open amnesia.app with these arguments. And the arguments need to be the um, your config folder slash main init.cfg, just like you do in Steam. Uh, so uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna, but let, let's just copy this over because there's a little more to it if you're gonna make a command file. So let's copy that over. You can paste it from my description if you'd like. And you wanna save, and be sure to make it UTF-8 Unicode. Um, and then you wanna name it just whatever, starter.command. C-O-M-M-A-N-D. And you just wanna save it somewhere, and just gonna save it on a desktop. Save, like that. And now it is a starter.command shell file, or launch file. So, uh, but you can still not use it, because this comes up. The file starter command cannot be executed because you do not have the appropriate access privileges. So there's something you need to do in terminal to give it access to, um, to, uh, to run this file. Alright, so what you type in terminal is chmod space a plus x and then you drag, you do another space, um, remember that, and then you drag the starter.command file into the window and it'll add the path to it and then you just press enter and this will give this file permission to run in your terminal window. So uh, this is kind of important or else you will not be able to execute it. So uh, if you were to just open it now, it'll open up command just like this. And um, yeah, uh, although it'll say Amnesia the app does not exist on the desktop because it doesn't. But you want to put this one into your full conversion mod, uh, into your basic, basically into your Amnesia dot the, the dot sent location like this. So it's right next to your Amnesia dot app file. And um, but this will not work on Steam. So it'll when you start it, it will, Amnesia will crash because you're not able to start Amnesia without Steam if you have it on Steam, uh, at least not on Mac. Uh, but if you're using the retail version, this should work for them. So it'll basically just navigate to the current folder and start Amnesia with your, um, your own file, uh, which is the same as doing it through Steam. So this is just, uh, some people use retail version, so just, uh, it's kind of important to just think that not everyone use Steam or not everyone use retail, so it's, it's probably best to include both of those. Also in the download I have a readme text file, you can just create this yourself, it's very basic test fi uh, text file that you can just fill in with information that you might want, like installation instruction and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, but that you can create if you want. And then there was the batch file for Windows. Um, if I open this up with just sublime text or whatever, uh, everything that's in the batch file is launcher.exe and then your flag. So uh, if I open up text edit, new document, launcher.exe space, um, did it um, have any dashes? Nope. And then you just uh, type in mod underscore config slash main underscore init dot cfg like that and then you want to save it as a starter dot bat file for example uh, oh and before that we need to make it a plain text and then we can save it starter dot bat oh no this one needs to be in desktop and save that and uh, you have used the extension bat at the end. The standard is text use bat. Be sure to use bat. <laughs> All right, so now we have this batch file, which uh, it does not work on Mac, so I can't exactly demonstrate it, but uh, it's the same as the command file that we just made for Mac. Just put it in here, and uh, if you run it on a Windows computer, you should be able to run Amnesia through that. Also, again, this is for retail. I'm not sure if that works for the Steam version of my, on Windows, but might. So, we have the starter for Windows, we have the starter for Mac. I uh, do not know how to make a starter for Linux. Um, if you're using Linux, then Linux, then I apologize, but I don't know. And then you need these three folders, and other than that, you can have as many other folders as you'd like. Just be sure to, whenever you add any more folders, you add them to the resources file as well. And that is pretty much it. Uh, if you have uh, custom entities, you put them in modern underscore entities and you add that folder in here and they will be found. 
Alright, so uh, other than that, I don't think there was anything more for this video, so uh, if you found it helpful, I would really appreciate if you would leave a like, it motivates me to make more of these tutorials. Uh, other than that, I will thank you for watching and I will see you later.